Case study number one, hydrocarbon systems. So what is the problem statement? Let me show you what are we going to do in our first case study. And the first thing I will show you once we go to the simulation is a little bit uh, of an introduction to Aspen Plus, how to state the physical property environment, how to state the simulation environment, what's the difference, typical buttons, assignments, and so on. And once we see that, we're going to be covering this case. So this is a very common example in the chemical industry, or petrochemical industry. It's about a gas mixture that must be separated. So we got hydrogen gas, methane, ethane, propane, hexane, heptane, and octane. So these are very light gases, middle light and these are not that light so these are likely to be liquid these are likely to be gas can be liquefied and these are likely to remain as gas so you can see most of the current or stream here is very light half of it is hydrogen and methane c1 stands for a hydrocarbon of one carbon alone c2 stands for two carbon which is ethane propane and so on so they tell us that they are using this currently, that hydrogen is used later on in a syngas plant, so it must be purified for later treatment. So we must ensure that we separate the hydrogen and send it to that plant. C1 must be used later on as a fuel, maybe as natural gas or whatever they are using, probably they're going to be burning it and that will be sent to another unit operation. Then the mixture from C2 to C3 will be sent to a new plant and probably they are experimenting between ethane and propane they are going to separate it as stated here and the mixture liquid mixture c6 up to c8 is the main liquid product and must be divided into two plants so plant number one 70 percent so probably this was a the original plant and now they are increased in their production rate so they have also a second plant so maybe this was a revamp or maybe they required to do this in two separate steps whatever the reason the important part right here is to ensure that 70% goes to plant number one and 30% to plant number two so the fit conditions are given as follow 25 celsius which is ambient temperature and these are already pressurized so probably they are coming from a high pressure system 100 kmol per hour and the composition. Composition, very important to note, is molar composition. So what do we need to do first? Well, first things first, we're going to be flashing the mixture. So we ensure that all gases go away and our liquid product remains for the plant number one and two. Then the vapor line is going to be treated. We need to remove hydrogen, methane, and these middle volatile material at least 95 recovery because then we are going to cover that into sep x we don't know what sep x this is the model that we will be using sep 2 and the main idea is to separate c2 c3 from all the other gases the liquid line is to be treated as follows we must cool down to 15 celsius decrease the pressure and then send to uh, plant number one and plant number two what do we need to do is verify purities at the end of each stream, find the mole rate, that will be mole of flow rate of plant number one, how many moles are we sending there, the volumetric flow rate of hydrogen gas, probably because that is very common to report volumetric flow rate, you typically won't be talking about uh, mass or mole flow rates when you're talking about gas, so gas stands typically for volumetric flow rate. Mass flow of plant 2, heat duty of the cooler or chiller, heat duty of the flash drum, and the composition of final product lines. At the end of the simulation, you should aim to get something similar to this. So this is the feed, the flash we were talking about, the vapor line separated, then this membrane separates hydrogen gas, methane gas, and this SEP X, which we don't know what type of unit operation it is. It's going to be separating C2 and 3 and all the leftover material goes to the stack. Then li liquid line it gets cool, depressurized and then sent to plant 1 and plant 2. Okay, so this 
the problem statement, let's start doing our flow sheet.